As a quick disclaimer before you watch this video, if you have not seen Hocus Pocus 2, do not watch this video. I am going to be spoiling a lot of stuff from that, giving my opinion on the movie. So stop, be smart, go watch the movie for yourself, and then come back. I promise you, you will enjoy it. Thank you. Now, hello, welcome back everyone to another episode of Two Cents, a show where I give my two cents on some popular things that are going on in the world, where I haven't done this in a long time. So let's go ahead and get the WD-40 out because I'm kind of rusty. Let's do this. Hocus Pocus 2 just came out on Disney+. Plus, And let me tell you what, I absolutely loved it. That was actually a really, really good film. But I will say one thing, you need to watch the first one first, okay? Refresh your brain with the original Hocus Pocus, and then go into the Hocus Pocus 2, you will truly love everything as it's reflected. They do so many homages to the original Hocus Pocus, and so long as you have those fresh in your brain, you come to respect what the creators did with Hocus Pocus 2. It's a beautiful thing. But with that came the ending, okay? The, the ending is something that has been kind of hit and miss with people. Some people like it, some people hate it. I'm on the side of, it depends what the future holds on how I'm going to view it. I'm either going to like it or I'm going to hate it in the coming years. And I'm going to explain why. So let's go into why I really do like this movie, okay? You have the Sanderson sisters back in 1993 seeing the things of the modern era. Rhodes, for example. Tis firm. It is firm as stone. Love that one-liner. It's just funny. The memes that came out of that one, that's just funny. But then you have them coming to the modern age of where they go to a Walgreens and they find the anti-aging creams that everyone has. And then coming to the whole view of fluorescent lights and whatnot. It's funny. It's funny watching them just drink lotions and going that it's like nutty. It, it's, it's, it's comical. I love it doing an homage to that type of stuff of where they're just so stupid with the modern era. It's just funny to me. I love it. I enjoy every minute of it. It's like they're the Three Stooges of women. And that's meant as like a really good compliment. The Three Stooges were beloved back in the day. And the fact that there's like a female lead of the Three Stooges that everyone can love and appreciate together, it's a beautiful thing and they do it so well. There's so much good chemistry on screen with the three of them, and the chemistry probably follows them off screen as well. Not to mention that, but the songs are also great as well. Like, I'm not too big on like musicals and whatnot. I'm not, it, it has to be really, really good for me to enjoy it. And although I wouldn't classify this as a musical per se, the musical numbers that are in it are very catchy, I enjoy, and I mean, they kind of follow the same style as what we saw in the original Hocus Pocus that really, really gave it the good charm and some of the lines that are even repeated in the songs reflect that of the original hocus pocus which is a good homage that the creators did i absolutely appreciated that here's where the problem comes in is with the ending let me go ahead and explain the ending if you want it spoiled for you for some reason or i'm going to refresh it for some of you the sisters essentially do one last spell to make them all powerful but unfortunately it only applies to the main sister with that the main sister loses her two sisters they go ahead and they disappear and she's like oh boo hoo those were my those were my freaking pride and joy i don't want to be a witch if i can't have them by my side and then it goes by so quickly from an instant of them disappearing to suddenly the new characters cast a spell to make her join them and she seems so happy. She's not angry at all with the fact of, oh my god, you're killing me too? No, no, it's very much accepting. Which can be seen as beautiful. I appreciate that. It's a good happy ending. Potentially, we could be looking at the end of the story. If this is the end of the story, I'm perfectly fine with that. I think that that is an okay ending. It was rushed. Most endings are rushed. We saw that with Game of Thrones. Don't rush the endings. Give it a beautiful ending. Like, if you rush it like that, it just, it doesn't hit the audience well enough, like they should have spread it out a little bit, like she should have came to terms with the idea of her passing and her joining them, that should have been a thing. But no, it was, it was very rushed, and I can understand why some people are very, very upset with the ending and why they're not really satisfied, and that's okay. But now, you go ahead and have her pass, and the book, spell book, that has a life of its own, apparently, is now with the younger crew. 
okay? And they kind of do the whole walk that the sisters do at the end, and then they walk off with the book into the moonlight. Which, it's just, it's all right. It's all right. But in that moment, I immediately had a concern. Is Disney planning a spinoff with these three? Are they planning a spinoff where it's going to follow these three with their coming of age story and the whole trying to figure out how to be witches and whatnot? Like, is that going to be a new thing? Is this the new main three that is going to be the new Hocus Pocus? In which case, I say, fuck that idea. Stop now. If Disney is trying to do this, stop. For the love of God, stop. Because we had the same thing happen with High School Musical. Maybe High School Musical spinoff is better than I'm thinking it is, but I don't know anybody that's watched it. No one cares about it. No one talks about it. No one goes, oh, there's a new episode of High School Musical, the musical coming out tonight. Are you going to watch it? Because we need to watch it. It's the best thing ever. No one says that, okay? No one cares, okay? People are talking about Lord of the Rings and the new Game of Thrones spinoff because those are new ideas that are good. Like, it's new stories that kind of expand onto the story of that's already been told with good endings and whatnot. High School Musical, the musical, shitty name, by the way. Let me just tell you, shitty name. They thought they were being clever. Guess what? Seeing through the fucking fog. It's stupid, but no one cares. It's almost put a damper on the original series. And that sucks. <laughs> that really does suck. And my team high school musical was good. Yes, of course. Anyone who denies that is also denying is <laughs> also denying. They're also denying the fact that Backstreet Boys and NSYNC were bomb back in the day. Okay, they just were. And don't you tell me that you don't like some Nickelback songs. Some songs are good. Is Nickelback themselves great? Eh, no, not really. But let's all admit to things. It's okay to like things that some people view as cringe. But I see this going in such a negative direction with Hocus Pocus. You're bringing in a new younger cast and you're bringing in stuff that doesn't involve the original Hocus Pocus story. It's like milking a cow to the bone, okay? It's just a cash cow. You're just gonna keep on milking it and milking it and milking all the money out of it, and you're thinking, I'm getting all the money that I can get out of this thing. And unfortunately, you are. People don't like watching animals suffer. Majority of people. They're, they're psychopaths out there, trust me. But personally, I don't like watching something suffer. And that's kind of what we were seeing with High School Musical, in my opinion. And I don't want to see that happen with this movie franchise. If they're going to make a Hocus Pocus spinoff, I hope and I pray that they stray away from the Hocus Pocus title. And unfortunately, they probably would because they want to make sure people understand that it's a continuation of that story. But branch it off. Make it its own thing. Like, go ahead and have it continue the story, but make it its own independent thing. If you can do that, I'd feel a little bit better with it. But Hocus Pocus involves the Sanderson sisters. That is for sure. Without them, it's not Hocus Pocus. And I think everybody can agree to that. But here's how I would have ended it, okay? If I if I had to choose the ending, let's go. Leave it open-ended. And it's still kind of open-ended, but not really. It feels really, really closed. But then again, kind of in the beginning of Hocus Pocus 1, it kind of felt closed there at the end. So maybe if, if it's not closed, bring them back in another 10 years, okay? Let's go ahead and bring the main actors back in another 10 years because we're going to have more technological developments that are still going to happen in another 10 years. And then we also have so many things that haven't been pursued this year. I mean, can you imagine the Sanderson sisters going into VR? That would be hilarious. They do something along the lines of teleportation jokes and, oh look, I can be an all-powerful wizard in this one too and whatnot. It would be, it would be interesting to see how they would go with the different technologies, especially since they haven't really even seen phones, which I have a problem with. They knew that the phone was going to take a picture and they all posed for it before the photo was taken. I have a problem with that. Just saying, got a problem with that. But I love the idea of having them comedically show how far we've come with technology. It's just, it's entertaining and it's fun to see how people in the past would react to things today because we can't have that actually happen. But it's interesting to see, like, how they do but i don't know how i would have really ended it i mean there needs to be an open ending to getting another black flame candle and really there was a closure to it in the first one that it was just out we didn't see 
that there was another one that came out. And could there still be another one that comes out and the book tricks the, the girls? Maybe. I doubt it because it seems like the book has had a change of heart. And when the book has had a change of heart, how is it even going to go back to the Sanderson sisters? It, it's really, really complex on how any of this would happen um, on trying to continue the story. It's, I don't know that they can. I think that they tried to close the book on this one and leave it open the same way that they're kind of doing Marvel where they're leaving the old cast behind and trying to progress with a new younger cast, which we can understand, but at the same time, rebrand it. Please rebrand it. So my theory is this time next year, we are going to get a Hocus Pocus spinoff and it is going to be titled Hocus Pocus blah 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 and it is going to involve maybe some cameos of the Sanderson sisters, maybe some prequel story of them that we haven't seen yet of their growing of age and maybe it would be the uh, the current cast, new cast of coming of age and maybe it'd be like a simultaneous storyline. Maybe that's a route that they could go. I don't see of any way that they can they can progress with the Sanderson sisters from this point. I don't I don't see how they can cleanly do it without going, "Oh, ho, ho, right." It's magic. They can do whatever the hell they want. Right. Because, I mean, it's kind of like the whole it was just a dream ending. It's just cliche. It's, it's, it's lazy. It's lazy writing. But on top of this, I'm also going to throw in another theory that Halloween Town is going to get a spinoff as well. Or maybe even a whole nother new film. And if they got a whole nother new film with the original cast, I'd be all for it. Even though I know the grandmother has passed on, which was very, very sad. I know that was... I think a couple years ago that that had happened. I still see that being a possibility, especially when Disney was in talks with the original town about doing some filming there and then they suspended it. I still say that they're gonna restart that contract, restart filming again, and I think they're gonna do it. The fact that Disney has already acknowledged that they are willing to do it, it's all the more reason. They're gonna see the success from Hocus Pocus and they're gonna be like, Haha, people still like that Halloween movies. Let's go. But I'm calling it the Marty Piper will be back and you'll have a bunch of the original cast and then potentially we may be having a whole high school musical thing again where you have a younger cast coming in and just completely ruining a good story of where you'll have a whole new Disney version of Hogwarts. God, I hope not. But Disney likes money. Disney loves that money. You can't even afford to go to Disney World anymore, but Disney loves the money. If I had to choose what I wanted, not what I'm theorizing, but what I want, what I want is pretty simple. I would love another movie that's either a clean continuation, even like I said, I don't see it, but then again, I'm not a writer by any means. I would like to see a continuation if possible, or even a prequel story because we haven't seen the whole part between them first getting the book and then to them getting hanged. There's a whole chapter here in the storyline that we have not seen yet that involves a lot of years. So I would like to see where that goes. What did they do during that time? How did they get the house? I would like to see that. Maybe they could go that route, but they could do that in the form of a mini series or a film. I don't really care. So long as it involves the original three, which the, all, the original three have already said that they're in. They are game. All three of them are ready to go for another Hocus Pocus in any form if Disney wants them. And if you have the actors that ready to go, uh, yeah, take them up on it. Absolutely take them up on it. And there has been a proposed miniseries already in the style of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If this was to happen, I think it could go very, very well. I just don't know how the story would work, but I'm curious, I'm interested in how this would work, but it's been proposed, nothing's confirmed. But I like that this is a proposed idea, but when you have Disney looking down the barrel of a younger cast right now, I I don't know. I don't see them doing two Hocus Pocus series or another Hocus Pocus movie when they're gonna have a Hocus Pocus series. It's gonna be one or the other. And I think that they're just looking at a younger, cheaper cast that they can hire and just a lot of budgeting that they can do on a cheaper on a cheaper thing. Like, like we're seeing right now with She-Hulk and whatnot, um, Moon Knight, 
they're doing series more than they are actual movies now, which is tragic to me. I don't like the series. I'd rather just have a movie of where it's one and done. I don't like how Lord of the Rings is coming out in parts. It's fine how they're doing it, but I want to be able to sit down and just watch the whole thing in full. I don't like the whole fact of everyone's talking about something and then I have to wait because I would rather just watch it in one go. It's hard for me personally to remember what's happened in the past. I need refreshers. But if that's the route that Disney goes, then that's the route that Disney goes. But I would like to see Hocus Pocus 3. I'd like to see more of the Sanderson sisters. Do I think it's going to happen? No. And that's the unfortunate thing. So was this a good movie? Yes. I would give this movie a solid 9 out of 10. Honestly, I would give it a 9 out of 10 just because of how true it stays to the original story, the bringing back a Billy and everything. It's great. It's very, very well done. The original humor that they had. The younger cast, I feel they could have improved a little bit better, but it, it's fine. It is what it is. But I'm just, I'm just over here on the sidelines worried about did they set up this movie for their own capital gain in the future? Because if they did that, that is a huge shame on you, Disney. And it pisses me off that this is that this is in my mind, that this is how I view a major corporation now, is, some, is someone that is going to take our childhood and keep on milking it for this marketable gain that we don't want. We want to have our stories and we want to have them intact. We don't want to have a miniseries come out next year that is going to ruin the story for us and give us something that we don't care about anymore. You're not going to be able to take away the original 1993 Hocus Pocus. And you can go ahead and give us this new one that has given us some controversy between people on whether they like it or hate it. Don't ruin it. It's a great movie. It pays a lot of respect to the old. But I see this as just being a way of getting a miniseries started. And that is a damn shame if it happens. So my, th my thing stands here. 9 out of 6 right now? Hold up, hold up, hold up. 9 out of 6? Yeah, that math don't add up. If it stays as it is, and if they can deliver on a good sequel with the Sanderson sisters in the future. If this turns off into a miniseries next year, then this is going down to a 5 out of 10. It's a solid movie, but it had ill intentions. And that is how I view this, is that this is an ill-intended made movie. I hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that I'm wrong. That is just my two cents on this. What's yours? See you next time. Hey, it's me here at the end of editing this where in the middle of me doing research in this video found out that there was a post credit scene which shows a black flame candle number two on the shelf so i think that all but confirms that there will be more to come and most likely hocus pocus three do I still think there's going to be a mini series? Absolutely. Okay, there's still going to be a I'm still standing by that whole theory, but we have our definite answer as to whether the sisters will return. So long as Hocus Pocus does too, like it is, I think, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see Hocus Pocus 3. But I just wanted to go ahead and mention that because I don't think everyone has seen the post credit scene because it's buried deep in there. As soon as I heard that there was one, I was like, well, let me go check that out. And sure enough, that kind of changed the whole entire script of what I was doing. And I really, I really wanted to make the video. I haven't done a two cents in so long. I didn't want to scrap it, but I needed to put that in here at the end. So just wanted to let you guys know Hocus Pocus 3 most likely will happen because there's another black flame candle. Cause of course there would be good night. <laughs>